yeah, g'day guys. Uh, I had my car washed today. It's the first time I think in my life I've taken my car to someone else to wash it. So it's covered in swell marks and all that now, which it's fine because if you guys um, that have been following me from the beginning, I've got the ceramic stuff that was meant to go on uh, 10 years ago. Anyway, this is going to be a quick video about this, um, about this uh, tablet. Now, I took it out so they could clean the car and not whatever right so i've just realized that it, even though i had it all fine uh I, I remember now it can fly out and cause you to have an accident above and beyond anything safety is number one always so they put armor all everywhere it's like i saw armor all on the board and I, I was like gonna say just don't put much armor all but whatever i've gotten it off there was just armor all everywhere right now Oh wow! Okay, so it's on now. Now the number one thing with this is from the from the G force of the car that it, it, it flies out, and you can see it just did it. So this is what it looks like behind the pretty face. So I've just realised it's not that easy to get it right. So so the surfaces have to be free of any sort of um, polishing agents or whatever it is. But um, you know this is the this is now the the course 3m backing don't worry about all the blue tack on the back i just did that now because i was a bit over the wires going everywhere but see if you're going to get a tablet like this is a lower end lenovo so of course it's got the lower end buttons with which you can't even see right you're gonna have to be able to get your fingers in there so the akai i used to have which wasn't really visible during the day um was up high because the buttons are on the side now if you can see how much better it looks that way right now with this Lenovo it's got to be further down to to have it there now what I'm gonna do is explain well first I'm gonna push it on so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put the wires behind it and now I'm just gonna stick it onto the 3m backing okay now it's on the 3m backing now that's car launcher AG. Now, you're going to have a few issues here. Number one, passengers kicking that off. So that's actually blue tack from behind. I'd say a little piece of gaff is better, but as we know, those micro USBs fail all the time. This as well tends to come out. I don't know how. Now, I can just get my finger in there now, but as you can see, it's not working. So I had it on, there you go. So it's all about this angle. Now, it might look dodgy, that's because it is so okay i'm not going to try and get it right while i'm making the video so i've cleaned that with a glass cleaning wipe it hasn't removed the residue of armor all so that's the number one thing but you do not and it happened to me when i first did it i couldn't shift the car into third gear and i had a real problem because i didn't expect that to happen so as you can see it, it can be dangerous this is why manufacturers don't like stick tablets on with blue tack but i had it on fine trust me guys it was awesome uh and what i realized is see we've got this soft finish here which we don't have in the 2016 so in the 2016 it's easier but then you've got the wire for your phone if you're going to have it over there if that wire is going to be behind it the tablet's going to come off so it's all about this angle and it's very very simple to do and it, this just must look absolutely shocking but you know you want to see your sti thing so we're going to do this and then i'm just going to just give me a sec, I'll pause it. Okay, so I recall now, you want your blue tack to be around like that, and you want to be able to adjust this angle, right? So let's just stick this on just quickly. I'll pause it again. Okay, and here we go. What is that? Imagine a porno started playing. Not that I've got them in the car. Um, <laughs> I just feel like making jokes all the time. Why is that? Normally it used to be when I was stressed, but I just, I just, maybe I think I'm funny. I don't know, maybe I am now. The number one thing here is if you're gonna keep pushing it, this is a Lenovo tablet for the 10th time. It's got a really good screen, but man, like pushing it onto that, you can crack your screen, I reckon. See, these tablets flex like anything. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if I did that now? So now it seems to be in place. It's not only because this armor all's everywhere. So so okay what we've got here uh is button savior and i think i made a video about this ages ago button savior is for those people that 
their buttons are broken on their iPhone or whatever, but it's also for when you can't access your buttons. Now, if you guys go back the, in the videos to when I said, um, it was the one I've, I, I filmed at 7-Eleven and I was connecting Spotify through this. So I had Spotify, oh, I can't remember what I was doing, but basically, <laughs> you have to turn it on from that button, right? Now, you've got your volume there, but then you've got the, are you sure you want your volume to be high? It can damage your ears. And that's where this comes into it. So Button Saviour is a great app because you can actually sleep it, right? Now, to wake it up, you've got to go back up here, hence the gap, right? And to turn it off, you can actually turn it off from there. But also, by pushing this second button, you can override your volume, right? Now, only because it was on full blast before, it's not asking you, but you know when it says, oh, do you want the volume on max? So this is a Carl Entre AG. This separate bar here is Button Savior. And I recall now, to get Spotify to work on a Samsung S7, that Button Savior helped me I can't remember how now, but go back in the videos. It's a versatile sort of app. It's pretty good. So over here, I've got apps, right? And then over here, this is for the subscriber that asked about it, of course, calendar. And these buttons are all customizable. I've got YouTube here, and I'm almost connecting to my wireless connection upstairs. But when you've got YouTube Red, it'll up update your YouTube music because we've got YouTube music now in Australia, guys. So it'll make auto playlists and stuff like that. Now, once again, it's all on our phones like Spotify. But over here, I've got music, right? And this is YouTube Red. So with YouTube Red, you can have downloads but not forever i think they expire after 30 days so do you know what i mean do you know what i mean i've got 188 tracks on there i haven't even upgraded the memory how cool is that not only that there's none of this bluetooth synchronization issue so this is the issue here i go to the gym with my jbl headset <coughs> I forget to turn it off, right? And I've never made a video about this, but it's just part and parcel of this head unit from hell when it comes to that. The music plays through that. Then it will not switch to the car. So when you switch that off, the car will say connected and you can override it by going settings, Bluetooth, Pixel 2 XL, connect, but it's connected. It will not connect the Bluetooth back and it happened with the s7 as well till you restart the car and by having auxiliary it just cuts the bluetooth out now once again i i don't use it a lot okay but the volume's a lot better as well and it's instant so you can you know that now it's off what do you have to do to listen to music it's just a nightmare right so when you use auxiliary you don't have that issue so once again you're gonna have to have the tablet charge they discharge right also, this particular tablet i can't charge it through a 2.4 amp output because it says overcharge do you know what i mean so by having the car on, right, near my unit, which is there, and having this on, this will actually update itself with YouTube Red, and that's a really big thing for me. So without YouTube Red, I mean, what would I really be doing with this? Now, also, you can keep playing the music, obviously, now, because it's YouTube Red, see? So if you're on a phone, you can sleep your phone and do that. So that's Carlo Entre AG. I can't remember what happened with the trial version. Uh, not everything works on it, like these buttons. Oops. You don't want to be playing with this while you're driving. See, it's those buttons are not overriding the volume. But you've got here, speed which works with gps you've got the analog clock you can you can change all of this it's in the settings so somewhere in the settings here and it also sleeps very nicely into 
into night mode. Now, with my Akai tablet, and I never had discovered Carl on G, it's a real problem. You know, with these cars, when the brightness, I'll never understand what they've done with the brightness, but, you know, you've got your GPS changing colour. Now, you've got the racetrack mode, sun, sun mode. This is for polarised sunglass, and that's great. But, you know... When the tablet is that bright, it's not really very good. You can't really drive around and have, you know, like a white cinema going on here. So this has the auto auto dimming function, which I find very handy. And when you go into settings, you can change this. It's not just Subaru. Whoops. You can you can put any car there, right? Uh, mechanical clock off. Uh, logo Subaru speedometer. I mean, I haven't even looked at this digital speedometer. I didn't know that. Let's do that. Uh, button colors, YouTube, and that's where you customize your buttons. Brilliant app. I mean, there's so many apps out there. Maybe there's something better, but I never really found it. There we go, digital speedo. <laughs> Not that you need it. But um, anyway, that's for that subscriber with that question. Hope that helps. Um, and yeah. 3M coarse tape and blue tack is, is the best solution. It's now sort of have, has found itself, but it won't last. That won't last. So make sure, guys, you clean it with an alcohol wipe. There we go. It's come off. And it's just all about the angle of that, um, of that coarse backing. And that's the issue going on now as well. So you can see that's stuck there. Once I get this angle right, the hook and loop... 3M Velcro, it, it simply locks on, right? It just goes click and locks on brilliantly. And you can see it there. Then you have two spots up there of blue tack. Uh, so yeah, looks really dodgy, but I haven't touched this till today and I wish I never did, right? There you go. So that's the ins and outs of it. Uh, if you're buying a tablet, try and get the... Um, the buttons to be on the side for it and also i can't stand that little blue edge but this this i love lenovo because i just it, there's just back-end features in it that are just the way the way it works is really good compared to a cheap shit sort of akai or or whatever so i'm going to just put my hand on it you can see the stress this screen can take there we go so it's in position right and you get the angle right I'm not even on auxiliary. Here we go. So auxiliary. See, the problem is when you have a YouTube channel that's uh, a, with with monetization, the minute they hear music, they they cancel the video. Like I can't make a video with uh, you know, a, a m music playing in the background because it it's like I I can't remember what happens, but it's it's not good. So over here, here we go. Okay. So. Oops, sorry guys. So now we're gonna go back, right? And we're going to go to the home screen. Cause it's YouTube Red, it's still playing, but of course you can load your own music into a different app, right? And um, now if I wanna increase the volume past the limit, there we go. So it's giving me that warning, right? Now that's Android. If you can find a tablet that doesn't do that, you're better off than the Lenovo's do it. And now I can go past. And the sound quality is so much better. So much better. Look at this. One of my neighbours said the other day, are you a DJ? She goes, what do you do? I said, oh, I fix cars. She goes, oh, we thought you were a DJ. Some of us love our music, so that's that. Look, Bluetooth is flawed. Now, my friend has a Mazda 3, uh, and he's got the Apple Bluetooth 5 upgrade on the iPhone X, and he's selling his car now for it, Okay. 2012 Mazda 3, you can't update a head unit. You can on the 2015s, but have any of you guys had any problems with the um, with the uh, Bluetooth 5, which I don't even know what that is, on the Apple iPhone? Because, uh, you know, we have had our... 
that's all about the tablet. I've made a video uh, you can refer to to that kind subscriber that asked me all about this, but it, it's on a table in the workshop. It's not a video that I, I recall making in the car. So see, now if I want to turn this off, I power it off. But you can imagine you've got here issues of maintaining the charge of the battery and not overcharging it through a 2.4 amp thing. Also, it's connected to that, that side not to the input for the head unit, okay? All sorts of stuff. <laughs> it just never ends, but I hope that helps, bye.